Talanoa Funga definitely does have a torn ACL. Terrible. He had a, a knee injury coming into the year. Baker cyst. I don't know if he was playing hurt. He didn't quite seem like himself. Kyle Shanahan said he hit a lull the last few weeks during the uh, the losing streak. Now they got Jair Brown, who was their top pick this year. They traded up for him. He looked good in the fourth quarter. He gave up that one long catch. Then he made up for it with three tackles, three pass breakups, and a pick. I mean, really, the night like I'm going to ask you a question in a second. I promise. But like the Niners were folding literally folding and he made the plays in the end zone twice to close the door. The Niners didn't slam the door shut on the bucks. Jair Brown slammed the door shut in the bucks. If I'm being, if I'm not being too reductionist here, that's the way I saw it. Yeah. Huge plays in the end zone. How do you feel about him replacing Huff uh, down the stretch? Cause that's, what's going to happen. I actually feel really good about it. Now I'm gonna clarify. I feel horrible about Huff. Huff's one of my favorite players on this team. To be honest, I, lo- I just love his personality, love his attitude. Seems like the nicest guy ever. Uh, I loved how he played last year. It hasn't been the same this year. Maybe this knee thing. Um, somebody I was reading. I don't know. I want to talk to maybe the doc Parav uh, or Narav Pandya um, and ask him his opinion. But that Baker sis, somebody said that that Baker sis could be tied to that ACL. And if they just chose to play him and they knew that that was a risk, that's bad. Um, so I'm hoping that's not the case. And it's just a random accident. But anyways, it just sucks, man, Huff, because I, I really like him. Um, that being said, I think Brown could be just as good as that guy. I just have a feeling about him. And what I saw yesterday, what I've seen in college watching the tape, they're very similar. And Brown might – I am just I, I don't want to talk bad on Huff going through this injury, but I will say Brown looks really freaking good, man. I like him. Yeah. So here's what you can expect from – Brown, he had 10 picks in college. So this is sort of what he, what he did yesterday wasn't a fluke. Also, his final year at Penn State when he was a senior, he had four and a half sacks. And you've seen that Steve Wilkes wants to blitz his safeties. He blitzes Talanoa Hafunga a lot. Yeah. Um, but he didn't draft Talanoa Hafunga. He inherited Talanoa Hafunga. And Talanoa isn't quite the blitzer that Brown is, I don't think. I think Talanoa Funga kind of falls off those tackles a little bit. And now you're going to see maybe a more aggressive Steve Wilkes with his safety. You think you're going to see Jair Brown make more plays just in general, but also behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I just I just like what I see from him. He just seems like a ball hawk. And, and it, it, Talanoa is too, to be fair. I just don't think there's going to be a drop-off. I, I just get that feeling. That could be wrong, obviously. Been wrong a couple of times before, once or twice in my life. Uh, but I, w- when I watch Jair Brown, I see somebody that's actually similar to Huff, and there's some things that I like better. Um, I, what I don't think is going to happen is a sincere, like a big drop off. Now, maybe the learning process of it, just understanding the defense, understanding NFL scheme, uh, all of that might be a little bit behind Huff in that regard. Because there was a time where Huff was seemed like a half second slower than he than you would want him, and then that was his first year. And then his second year, that all disappeared, that all dissipated. And I think that was mostly just because Huff relies on his mind and his instinct more than his speed. And Jair Brown's not the fastest guy either. So you could see a Huff uh, that was similar to rookie year somewhere. But but I think it's going to be a cross between Huff rookie year, Huff second year is what we're going to see from him. I, I think Jair Brown's going to be a solid replacement, and I don't think there's going to be a huge – Huge drop off outside of a couple blown coverages here and there. I'm looking at the stats on Pro Football Reference. According to them, Talanoa Hufunga in his career has blitzed 52 times. According to them, seems like more. 52 times, two sacks in his career. So I, he's not that much of a weapon in that way. People, you know, he's compared to Talanoa to uh, Troy Palomalu. They they worked as his mentor. Troy Palomalu was a big time sack guy. He made all kind of plays behind the line of scrimmage. If you people remember, he would jump over the line of scrimmage, like, time to snap. He did crazy stuff. That's not yeah, necessarily yeah. Talanoa. It might be Jair Brown. Jair Brown seems like he could do more of that. Um, I think people have the tendency. People have the tendency to call people to, like. 
oh, he's Samoan. He's Samoan. They're the same. They're really not. No. You know, just because just no. they're Samoan doesn't mean they're the same player. And they know each other, and they went to USC. They, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. same guy. They long yeah. hair. They, they both could be in head yeah. shoulders. No. They're, no. they're different players. So I, yeah. I understand that he's trained by him, and they know each other, but they're not the same player. I mean, uh, you're talking about a Hall of Fame caliber player versus Huff, and he's not. I mean, like a 4-3 first-round pick, great player. Yeah. Like, yeah. We don't need one. to bring him up in that conversation yet. Maybe he'll get there. But I think – Jair Brown, man, from what I've seen from him in college, I went after, I'll be honest, I don't watch a ton of college football. I am now because I'm not coaching anymore, uh, basketball. And so I'm able to watch more college um, football on Saturdays and I've been watching it. But when they drafted Jair Brown, I didn't really know much about him. So I went back and watched the tape. And Mm -hmm. after I watched it, I was really excited about what I saw from him. So I'm excited to see it play out. I, I, you know, I'm not glad it comes at the expense of an injury to Huff, but I, I think Jair Brown has something there he 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 looks like a franchise caliber player like he'll be here for a long time i agree it's gonna be interesting to see which one of them starts next year or if they start next to each other it's possible they will mm-hmm. um which is weird though because i i've heard you say and it, it and i agree that they're more similar than they are right he's more like huff than he is like gibson so starting together i think that was the plan originally sure. but i don't really see that in my head yeah i'm not sure about that i always i i've part of me wonders if they were planning on trading hafunga one at some point and not re-signing him if he got too expensive but now that may not be an issue sorry huff i oh. think they drafted him to replace gibson but i don't think that's who he is yeah i'm not sure that that's who he is either brian cult says jake moody is legit he's gonna break your heart i'm sorry 